Ah, uh, there's nothing like playing a game after a heavy day. You sit there, and you're shooting alien ships, and you're going pew, 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 pew. Brilliant. All while sitting nice and comfortable in front of your computer in a nice comfy chair. Nothing beats it. Or a nice little piece of Candy Crush. Just a while away the hours. Nice and relaxing, you don't have to think too much. But wait, I'm playing this on the phone, aren't I? Well, yes and no. I'm playing it on a phone on my FreeBSD desktop. And I'll show you how you can do it after the intro. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, here we are. I've got a nice little screen showing the exact uh, goings on in my phone. It's very nice. Uh, it's phone using Android 9. And uh, that will become relevant later at the end of the video and explain why I don't use sound. As you can see, I've got some games installed. I've got Candy Crush, which I'm going to uh, uninstall. Everything you can do on the phone, you can do via this little mirroring of your phone on the desktop. So when you've had enough playing games and you want to, uh, I don't know, watch a program or two, there's Netflix and Disney Plus, which we'll have a look at. And the thing is, it works perfectly like this. You can stream whatever's on your phone to your desktop and what that does is it just basically increases your screen real estate. Yes, I know you could screencast maybe or Chromecast, but this is a handy little thing that if you sat there and you've got some spare time and you've got a computer monitor, then you know just hook up your phone and you can watch whatever's on your phone there. When it comes to sound, you can just plug in your headphones. And if you that's if your phone's got a headphone jack, that is. And you're good to go. So here we are using Netflix. I'm not going to play anything just in case I get a copyright strike. But the age old question, can FreeBSD play Netflix? Well, yes and no now. There's very little lag. Um, it runs really smooth. And overall, it's very acceptable. Before you do all this, what you first need to do is that you need to get your phone there we go and you need to have it with a USB uh, well a micro USB lead so one end of the micro USB goes into your phone the other end which is a normal size USB goes into your computer and then find the settings uh, icon and we'll dive straight in right here we are on the phone make a nice little recording and the first thing that you need to do is go to the settings. Uh, in this particular instance, I need to go to more settings. You may not need that. And go down to system. And go all the way up to about phone. And then when it says build number, you need to click on it seven times to enter developer mode. Once that's done, you need to go back one menu. And now at the bottom, you should see developer options now appear. Click on that. And the two important things that you need is debug USB. So let's have a look. Let's scroll down to, oh, there it is. Is USB debugging. And you need to enable that. Then go back a menu. or X out of that and your phone should be ready to mirror itself next you need to install the screen copy program itself so sudo pkg install screen copy or whichever one to want to use you can use do as or just elevate privileges using su whichever way you choose to do it that's the command you use You could, of course, compile it, 
in which case where is screen copy and it will show you it's in the user ports comms section so you just change directory into that and then make install clean screen copy has a lot of options um, too many for me to list in this video otherwise we're gonna be here all day but if you just scroll down there are some ones which I you can highlight as being more useful than others there's a lot of there's actually a lot of options some may be more valuable to you than others so you issue the command screen copy and in this instance I get a lot of uh, debug messages which you can ignore it loads the open GL shaders etc for a nice little uh, speed boost open GL version 4.5 and there's your window lock very nice indeed and you can control your phone via your mouse uh, just to tell you that the debug is started and KD Connect as well. KD Connect is also a very useful thing which I might cover in another video. So, I'm making sure everything's there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've also allowed uh, debugging in charge only mode. You may not need that, but I kind of enable it anyway. And when I've finished doing all this, it's always best to disable developer mode after. Now we'll just get rid of that. And so the great thing is, you can control your phone then using your mouse. Well, the possible uses for this is obviously playing games, um, which I'm attempting to do here. You can control it via the mouse, which is an unusual experience in itself, but it's perfectly workable, but unfortunately I can't play. Well done indeed. Uh, another one you could use is like a virtual... Uh, I don't know, tin foil simulator, it's very strange. So you just pull that down. There we go. I can tell you it's very peculiar just having to uh, able to control your phone with your mouse. It's a really strange feeling knowing that you, your phone sat there and it's been worked um, via computer, very strange indeed. I'll just finish that. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Brilliant. I feel like I've achieved something. Now, there's another game that you can play. This, I'm not going to be doing all games, but I'm just going to show you a few more. Uh, it works quite well. It's quite speedy. There's very little delay, which in a game like this is, uh, is quite important. It's good that it gives you instructions what to do, otherwise I wouldn't know. Well, the graphics are quite decent in this game, actually. Very good. So, yeah, very good. So that's a uh, an action game, of course. Let's go for something a bit more... Um, a bit more leisurely. And nothing more leisurely than driving around a city in the tank. Uh, this is very reminiscent of... Uh, GTA 3. Ah, oh, the fun times driving around in GTA 3 in a tank. Very good. And finally, uh, a little bit of productivity. No using uh, Microsoft Word for uh, the smartphone. And using the actual keyboard of the computer, you can actually type in uh, your message rather than trying to use the virtual keyboard on the phone. And why would you want to do this when you've got LibreOffice? Well, if you want to just fire up a quick document that's in Word format, it's very handy indeed. The next thing we're doing is using the smartphone as a webcam. Now, the picture image from the phone itself is crystal clear. Much clearer than uh, my Logitech webcam. So you could use your smartphone instead of your Logitech webcam. And just to show you the difference in picture quality, the one on the left-hand side is my Logitech, well, one of my Logitech webcams. I can't remember, it's like 210, I think. And obviously the phone on the right-hand side. 
and it is a lot clearer. Very nice indeed. And you could either use an old phone or your current phone and when you're not using it. I don't use mine that much. I just use it for taking photographs and uh, occasional use. You put it under there, leave it tethered to your computer, and you can fire it up whenever you need it. Like I say, if it was an old phone, don't throw it away, use that instead. It's very handy indeed, and um, there's probably people out there that can use it in a more productive manner than I am. And if you do, let me know how you use it. Leave a comment in the section down below. Regarding sound, uh, there is a sound copy program, which works in a similar way to uh, screen copy, but unfortunately it runs on Android 10 and above. Um, my phone uses Android 9 and it doesn't work. I've tried to use a sound cable, a 35 mil jack, uh, from the phone to the sound card microphone or input, you get a lot of interference and I couldn't record sound properly, so it's no big deal to say just put in some headphones and listen to it as you would if you were listening to it on your computer. Anyway, hopefully that was of some use to you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.